My name is Kitty Kanhoffen and I live in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island in beautiful British Columbia. Uh, I spend a lot of my time outdoors, particularly fishing. Fishing plays a huge role in my life. When I'm not at work and I have time off, I'm usually outdoors. Anywhere um, that I can go fishing, I really enjoy it. I feel like every angler goes on their own individual fishing journey and it's a huge growing process like from compared to you know almost five years I guess over five years ago to where I am now my values and ethics have just changed um, I definitely put a lot more thought into the fish and whether it's you know if they should be left alone if the conditions are proper or the environment that they're sitting around um, one in particular is is the amount of litter that I've noticed. It's actually quite atrocious. You know, you see, you see the larger pieces, but when you really get down to it, there is a lot of garbage that's going into our rivers and it's, it's devastating. So I'm also a teacher, a grade two, three teacher in Nanaimo. And the group of kids that I have, they're so, they're so cute. They're so enthusiastic. They love to learn. I really want to get these kids that are so special to me involved in something that I already love doing. We planned it out together and the kids were all on board that we would do a, a beach cleanup at Departure Bay Beach for Earth Day. So I started doing some research. Um, instead of just going down there and picking up garbage, I kind of wanted to give them a little bit of background knowledge about it before I um, just took them down there and picking up garbage. I decided that I would teach them about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. What is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? I think the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a bunch of plastic that's broken down in the Pacific Ocean. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a huge patch of garbage in the Pacific Ocean. It is at least as big as Texas. Pacific garbage patch can really harm animals because soon there'll be more garbage than fish in the ocean and birds are eating it. It could be very dangerous to any sea life. Great Pacific garbage patch should have never started. It makes me feel sad for the fishies. It's really sad that all the animals are dying. I just feel really bad for the animals because like, so many are dying. We need to stop littering because if we keep littering, all the fish will die. It's a big topic, and so when I started researching it, I actually found it really hard myself to, to accept these facts and to, to understand, you know, this, this is reality. There is these massive, massive amounts of garbage that's circulating in the ocean. We decided that we would start at the school and clean up, and then the school has this ravine right next to it and I thought that it'd be a good idea to kind of work our way down and to really show how litter st can start at one place by just someone you know carelessly throwing a piece of litter or trash on the ground and how it may you know it, it doesn't just stay there it's not once you, dr you drop it somewhere it doesn't just stay there it does make its way into habitats that need to be protected boys and girls listening please so we started our garbage pickup at the school grounds and we found quite a bit of trash, didn't we? Yeah. But the trash, where it is dropped, it does not just stay there. It slowly moves with wind, with rain. So when it rains, the water collects on the ground and it slowly, the trash makes its way from our playground All into places, into places like this, right Peyton? So boys and girls, how many think this is really beautiful? I think so too. I want you to use your eyes right now and can anybody see garbage? Hands up if you can see pieces of garbage in this creek. And it was so awesome because it just really connected what I was teaching them and it showed them the real thing, like what is happening is true around an area that is familiar and special to these kids. Like all of them had 
been down this path before. And then we made our way down to the beach. After myself learning about these microplastics, there is a lot of garbage down there. You just have to look. So we looked at where the tides had washed up and you could see along, you know, all the debris that the tides, where the tide had been. And I said to the kids, I'm like, get down and you're gonna start looking because the beach, it looks clean. There's not many big pieces of garbage, but there's a lot of small pieces that are kind of woven into the kelp and the seaweed and the sticks. So we, they got down close to the beach and they started combing through. I found a Tim Hortons cup and a lid. I found a piece of rubber. Yeah. I found a piece of broken rocks. It's a big piece of plastic. I don't exactly know what it's from. Cigarette box. I found it over there. I found a bouncy ball. A piece of plastic. And the little campsite over there. And so that just really linked the whole lesson together and my what my goal was for teaching them how plastic and trash just makes its way down from one point into habitats and eventually the ocean where it just gets cycled in there over and over again until someone picks it up. How do you fix a problem that is so big and is so out of control? And so I thought if I, I you know, if I, I can't do anything by myself, I can at least try to prevent it or spread awareness. That day that we did it, we didn't only create awareness about things that are going on around our area in Nanaimo, but we also just built a stronger community together. And it was really cool for me watching the kids come together as a team. And they worked so hard. These are grade twos and threes. They worked so hard. And they showed so much care and effort. And I just really hope that that effort and care doesn't just leave after Friday. Thank you.